Hey guys, so welcome to a new YouTube series. This series is how to make a shooter game on Scratch. So for our first sprite, uh, we want to get rid of that cat. And we want to paint a sprite. This is going to be a top-down shooter game. So I'm just going to make my guy. So yeah. Just gonna do a circle for the head. He's gonna be holding out a gun. Oh, get away. Nope, not doing that. Let's see, arm says will be twenty. Okay, I'll make the arms go to the back layer. And now for the gun. Whoa. Yeah, we're not doing 20 outline for the gun. Maybe 5 outline for the gun. Wow, that was... It's just going to be like a little pistol. I'm just gonna save the project. Maybe put the arms a bit closer. Okay, so I'm just gonna name this costume Pistol. I'm gonna set the size to maybe 25. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. So now we are going to do. One clicked forever. You're gonna show, gonna go to front layer, and gonna switch to costume pistol. We want to make a new variable, call it gun, uh, for this part only. It'll switch costume. Uh, we don't have to do it anything with the gun yet but it's just good to have it we also want the starting position for our guy that will just be right here I'm gonna make him maybe start in the corner minus 173 minus 114 you, you can tell the coordinates because it's right here and then if you move him, he will always start there. Now do an if. Now do a forever. Point towards mouse pointer. So he will point towards us. Or whatever you want to call it. Then if. Key. Up arrow press. He will move, let's just say, four steps. So he will move towards the mouse pointer. I'm going to do one more direction. Say minus four steps if down arrow pressed. Save the project. Let's see what that is. I'm going to make it move a bit slower. 2.5 minus 2.5. Let's just stick with three. And th that looks better. Hmm, I just forgot what I was going to do. Jeez. Okay, well, oh yeah. So, just remove this for now. Put an or block. Put those back in. If key up arrow or W pressed, and if key down arrow or S pressed. There we go. 
So he also moves backwards. It looks weird, wacky, whatever. Okay. So now we want to do another one clicked. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Do another one clicked forever. If or if key space pressed or if mouse down. So what mouse down means is just clicking. That's all mouse down means. Then we want to make another sprite, call it bullet. For sprite one we will call it player. And let's just duplicate this. Call it bullet. I'm just gonna delete all of this. And here we have our bullet. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Maybe like that. Maybe a darker shade like that. Still not quite centered yet, like that. Okay, it is beautiful now. So now what we want to do to the bullet is get all that out of there. One clicked, it will hide. It will. Uh, no, we don't want to do that yet. It will just one click, it will hide. And now, when we want to go to player, mouse down or just case or or key space press, it will create clone of bullet and it will just wait 0 0.8 seconds for now. So, why we did this for another script is if so, let me just show you. So, we're moving. I, I I'm clicking right now and the actual player is not move is not waiting. But if we drag that to the main script, see when when I click the player waits. So yeah, we don't want that. So we drag it up here to the not to the unimportant script for right now at, at least. So now we want to do we want to go to the bullet. When I start as clone, it will show go backwards 99 layers, go to player, point in direction of mouse pointer, and repeat until touching edge then it will delete clone so, so we just want to do maybe move 15 steps let's see what that is so now the bullet shoots yay so how do you like like that now oh oh yeah we don't point towards mouse pointer we go to sensing drag this point in direction point in direction of player oops sorry hold on that that's not going to work you want to do point in direction of player not point towards direction of player there you go So now, I'm not really, I don't really have a lot of ideas for this game, so I'm just going to hopefully not copy someone and do a machine gun. 
So hopefully this is not copying someone. I don't know who I'm copying, but hopefully no one has done this. That looks nothing like a machine gun. I'm just going to do it a bit bulkier. Oh, I have to make this go to the back over here. Okay, I'm going to make these parts a bit lighter so it's more distinct. Okay, so like that. Now for this, it will, this will be if equals pistol. Drag this right here if player costume number equals to make this less complicated. I'm just going to name this machine gun, then I'm going to just do one, then it will do that. So it still works perfectly fine. So now we want to do an if if equals one or if cost number equals one. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Plus number equals two. Create going to bullet and wait zero point three. So now we just need a way of switching to costume. If key one pressed, if key two pressed, switch costume to pistol, switch costume to machine gun. Uh, the bullet thing won't work yet, but at least we can switch between the guns. See, so now we can switch between guns. Okay. So now we want to make the bullet. I, I'm just going to duplicate this. going to pull it. I'm going to put it right below. If cost number equals 2. In the direction of player plus pick random four to minus four, and it will move ten steps. Okay, the pistol works perfectly fine. The machine gun now has a bit of a spray. I'm gonna make the Spray a bit bigger, seven, uh, ten, minus ten. There we go. I'm also going to make it 15 steps, this one 20 steps, and you make it shoot a bit faster, zero point, zero point zero eight seconds. Now let's try that. Okay, the pistol works perfectly fine. Machine gun, blah, 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 Perfect. Maybe 0 0.1. Let's just see that. And if you want to make the machine gun extremely extreme, just do 0 0.01, and it will be crazy. And, yeah, we don't, yeah. Let's just not get into that. 
I'm going to keep it at 0 0.08. Just going to save the project. Uh, I don't think the variable gun is necessary. So I'm just going to delete that. It wasn't really necessary. So let's see. So now I'm just going to make the backdrop. I'm going to make one side darker than the other. Not that dark. Yeah, yeah like that dark. Brrr. That machine gun is very cool. So... Let's see. I feel like I should make one more gun. In the comments below, tell me what gun I should make. Maybe like a shotgun or something? It's a suggestion. <laughs> oh, we could just do that, I think. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we could just do that. So we can just get rid of this, put this right here, and just do that. And it works perfectly fine. So now we want to make our attackers, mine will just be robots. I, I don't know, I'm low on ideas here, just work with me, please. They're also going to be top down. So just work with me here. Because I am very low on ideas. I don't know, but I want to make them like zombies, but I feel like that's stealing. Go to back layer. Go to back layer. Make the arms a bit farther apart like that. Like that. We like that. Okay, that looks beautiful. Let's just set the robot size down on twenty five. Uh, thirty. Okay, that that looks more beautiful. Yeah, let's see how that looks on the big screen. Okay, that looks good. Now we're just going to name this costume normal. So now we want to do one click. It will hide forever. Wait. Pick random between one and three seconds. Then it will create clone of myself. Before we do that, we want to wait two seconds. Then it will start creating a clone of itself. So now we want to do a when I start as clone, it will forever show. Go to front layer. Repeat until. Touching bullet, it will delete clone, it will point towards player, and move three steps, two steps. So now we want to do when I start as clone, it will. Hmm. It will set X and we, and we want the zombies to point in direction minus ninety. It will set X 
to 237 just to make this number a bit lower then it will set x uh set y i mean set y pick random minus 166 to one sixty eight one two okay there we go first zombie there we go I'm gonna make the more frequent one to two seconds zero point eight to one point eight seconds let's see that do 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 so right now, the robots are a bit easy to kill. So what we want to do is we want to make a variable, call it zombie health, and do it for this sprite only. We want to uncheck the box so it hides. When I start scrolling, it will set zombie health to three um, and if touching bullet it will change zombie health by negative one and for the bullet we want to do touching edge or As you might have guessed, touching zombie. Edge or robots, I mean. Uh, I'm just so used to calling them zombies that I guess I just call them zombies. Since zombie health by negative one, repeat until zombie health equals zero. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's try that. Uh, two. <clears throat> One, two, three. What? No! Ah! Hmm. Hmm. We want to do if zombie health equals zero, it will delete clone. I they're they're not gonna move. I just want to see if it works. One, two, three, delete. Okay, good. So now we have to make make them move. We can just put that right there, and they will move. I believe. Yep. One, two, three, one, two. You know what? Let's just murder them. <laughs> I'm gonna actually make the zombie, the this zombie health at two. Okay. So that is it for part one. We have all of this. It's looking really good right for right now. We can switch between guns, and we can murder zombies. So that's it for part one. Bye, guys. See you on part two.